Welcome London, Welcome America. Harry's seen spitting blood, as Meghan caught using drugs during Epstein party, before their wedding. For British watchers, Oprah Winfrey's stunner extraordinary on the illustrious family was additionally a report of the American drug industry. Those in England who streamed Sunday's meeting with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were stunned to see ads for physician-recommended drugs including Skyrizy, Kiskly, and Jardians. Promoting professionally prescribed drugs is prohibited in the United Kingdom, and the vast majority of the world, barring the US and New Zealand. Essayist Eshaw A. Siddiqui ordered large numbers of the most staggered responses in a Twitter string named English individuals responding to American drug promotions during the Harry, Meghan interview. On the off chance that these medication promotions ex prefer to not have a NHS I never need to encounter that, tweeted one sickened individual, alluding to the UK's National Health Service. Nah. How are the symptoms of the medication in American promotions more deadly than the thing they're treating? Composed another. However, these clinical adverts and the secondary effects. American medical services really is a business. Notice to third. Different pundits referred to the promotions as strange and unhinged and said they caused them to feel as were they in some dystopian world. Many offered feeling a re-established thanks for their country's public medical care framework. Siddiqui finished the string with a note clarifying the response for Americans who track down such promotions totally typical. In the UK it's against the law to promote professionally prescribed medications to the overall population. Around there, individuals looking for medical services are viewed as patients not clients, Siddiqui composed. In a subsequent post after her string became a web sensation, Siddiqui referred to Brits as shock and revulsion at the ads a dreary show of how special America's medical care framework is. The meeting, which 17.1 million watchers gushed on CBS on Sunday night, was an uncommon snapshot of pariahs seeing American live television, Siddiqui went on, and wound up filling in as a snapshot of reflection by non-Americans on how pointlessly difficult and bizarre this nation is. The Queen made an authority announcement Tuesday saying the entire family is disheartened by the meeting, adding that the issues raised, especially that of race, are disturbing, in spite of the fact that memories might change. In late November or December 2010, the tip that would shake the House of Windsor is accepted to have come straightforwardly to Mahmood, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, referred to in the sensationalist newspapers as Randy Andy in the royal lout about town, because of his sequential dating and common sense kidding, was in America, setting out upon an informal four-road trip to New York City. The royals were a particularly worthwhile wellspring of lascivious stories, continuously shagging different individuals who weren't spouses or wives 